weeks after a protest outside Tark, disabled riders say Tark 3 is still failing them. WDRB's Chad Mills took those concerns to the Transit Authority's director to get answers. Chad? And we interviewed her on a day we heard more complaints from multiple riders, including the one you see right here, who says she spent $78.98 just this week alone on cab fare because TARG 3 was so unreliable. Denise Irvin is stuck at home on the couch. Yes. She'd like to take a couple trips to the pool and gym this weekend. I have to work out every day. But because of knee and foot operations, she rides TARG 3, a service for riders with disabilities in Louisville that she says is just too unreliable. I'm going to say the last three or four months, it's been horrible concerns others have voiced and still voice. The sign up, everybody get a sign. Three weeks after a protest outside TARP. <laughs> On Friday alone, multiple people either blind or visually impaired who work at this manufacturer in Clifton say TARP 3 never showed up to take them home from work. And there's this email directly from TARP seemingly sent to WDRB by accident that acknowledges another rider was being stranded at their job site in East Louisville. We took those concerns to TARC's executive director, Carrie Butler. The biggest source of our riders' frustrations right now really is in our staffing or, or kind of lack of staffing. Butler says right now TARC 3 is down 50 employees and she says TARC is making a big push to hire them is counting on paying existing drivers over time in the meantime and should have the shortcomings fixed in no more than two months. People shouldn't be stranded. People should not be stranded, especially people who are disabled. But riders like Irvin. It's just a mess. Expect better from TARC's leaders and the city's leaders now, not later. Tonight, we also learned a TARC 3 subcontractor just canceled its contract to drive buses for TARC 3's operator, MV Transportation. MV says it's offering full-time jobs to the affected drivers, but needs more as well. We'll post those details on how to apply on WDRB.com. Chad Mills, WDRB News.